So after three years of patiently waiting for the Rivian R1T to finally come out, it happened guys. And I just took delivery of my Rivian Blue R1T and this thing is better than I expected by far. So I'm gonna use this video to show you guys a little bit about the R1T and just explain why this truck is so awesome because this thing is no joke. So let's do this. First things first, the Rivian Blue. This was my favorite color when I was going through the list, checking it all out and in person, it's absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but it's not like a matte kind of color or like a flat kind of color. It's got a lot of like little sparkles in it, which I was super surprised to see. Oh, that's it locking by the way. So don't worry about that. My phone's on me. Um, but what's so cool about the blue is I ended up going with the 22 inch all black wheels. And these things look absolutely amazing on this car. Now, since the Rivian have these massive yellow brake calipers and all the little Rivian logos have a bunch of yellow in it. So it's on there. It's it's on the side of it, uh, it's on the back, it's also on the hood, I'll show you that one as well. With the yellow on it, mixed with the blue, like it really pops, it's really, really nice. So first and foremost, I wanna go out there and say that the Rivian purchase process was awesome. Like from start to finish, it was really, really good. Like it just felt good the whole time. It didn't feel like anybody was trying to take advantage of you. It didn't feel like you were getting rushed off the phone. Like they would keep me on the phone, like asking me questions about the car and what I wanted to do with it, stuff like that, which was really cool. Hats off to my guy named Justin and also hats off to Rivian for running a program like that. But to actually get the car delivered today, we are here in Howell, New Jersey, where my bike shop is. Now the closest Rivian center is in Brooklyn, New York. So that's of over an hour away. And it's not an easy hour by any means. Like. It's a process to get there. You have to go driving through a bunch of traffic. It's like the drive I never ever want to do. So when they called me and they said that the car was going to be ready, I was like, oh, I guess I gotta go pick it up. They're like, nope, we got it. We're gonna come deliver it to you. So a Rivian employee actually brought the car to me. They delivered it right here at the bike shop. And what was so cool about it is like I had all the paperwork done already. All I had to do was sign a couple little things and they were good to go. But while they were here, they showed me a lot of interesting things about the car. So real quick, we're gonna go around the outside. I'm gonna show you about all the cool things. So let's check out the front. So right here, at the bottom of the blue part of the front bumper, there is a little like button that you can press and it opens up the front. Now it's so clean looking. It's amazing, this front. front. So inside the front, you can see this right here. This is my original window sticker. So you can see this right here, the total vehicle price down here, $80,875. So I ended up ordering this one three years ago. So now the price is up to like 91-ish or something like that. I haven't fully checked, but somewhere around there. So I got a really good price on it. Now in here, they have the storage area, but what's so cool about this, I thought this was amazing. So this goes like that, magnets hold it up. Very, very clean look. So up front, you have the uh, tie downs for the uh, back area, but also right here is all the equipment that comes with the charging system. So you have your regular charger you can plug into the wall. So really, really clean looking setup up here. Really love the magnets. And the attention to detail in this car is just, that's my favorite thing about it. Like it, it's, it's such a very well thought out vehicle. And I love this right here. If you can find the rubber thing, I know it's going to be a lot easier for somebody that has feeling in their fingers, but, but I ended up finding it, but it goes on its own. That is so cool. Like I, I love that, that you don't have to slam it down. You don't have to worry about scratching the paint or anything like that. So a couple of the other accessories that are in the Rivian that are definitely noteworthy is definitely the tunnel right here. So I'm trying to learn all the buttons up. Here we go. It's this button. You press this button up top. This one opens up the tunnel. Now you have storage through there, which is super convenient. You can even stand on top of this. It's rated for 250 pounds. So if you want to load stuff on the top of the truck or do whatever you have to do, it's definitely useful. I won't be standing up there. I'm not capable, but it is definitely useful. You definitely put a lot of stuff in there. It's surprisingly big. So also back here, I, I think this is just the coolest thing ever. The fact that they have an electric tunnel cover, like look at that, you just press a button and it opens up on its own. Like the convenience of that, the convenience, that's the biggest thing about this. Like the fact that you don't have to roll something up, you don't have to press it, you just press a button and walk away. It's so cool. So also up here is the tailgate button. So it drops on its own. And now what's cool about the tailgate is you can see this piece that's in the center, right? The bed is not the longest in the Rivian. It's quite short actually. So this piece right here, this like elongated kind of uh, tailgate that falls down. So it doesn't fall from the point right there. It comes out and then falls. And this extends the flat part of the bed so you can load whatever you need to in here, which is super cool. Very well thought out. Now this is one of my favorite things in the whole truck. You can see right there, it has an air compressor on it. So you can plug a line in. You can fill up your own tires or you can fill up, I mean, for us, it would be great for BMX bikes. That'd be super convenient to have. So your truck is your air compressor. 
And on this side of the bed, there is also outlets, which is very convenient. You have nice 110 setup. And convenient is gonna be the word today. I'm gonna to be saying that a lot in this one. Now, the biggest issue for me that I'm experiencing so far with it is this truck is on the lowest setting right now. So you can see that the wheels are pretty tucked in there, especially those big 22s. So this truck is still a little bit hard for me to get in, especially on my right side, because my right leg doesn't really work too well. So I kind of have to pick up my leg, toss it in, and then slide my way back. But once I get my leg up, it's not too bad at all. But the interior of this truck is even better than I expected. I heard a lot of people on YouTube talking about how nice it was, like the quality of it. And until you're inside of it, that's when you really realize how awesome this truck is. Like everything just looks so expensive. I mean, all of it. I mean, I love this too, check this out. You have the Bluetooth speaker that you can release from here and you could bring and set up wherever you want and you could just rock out. The storage that's in the center part, super, super deep in there. Like it's actually got USB-C's in there so you can use it for charging which is nice. Um, right here, this is a cell phone charger. So you just lay your phone on there and it's nice and like grippy too. So it won't slide around. But what's so cool about having a truck is like having this open space right here and having a good amount of open space there where you can store whatever you need to. You could do paperwork if you wanted to. It is a nice depth to it. That's like not overwhelming, but enough that it keeps it open as well. Let's talk about the seats. The seats are really, really nice. I love that the material that it feels like super expensive, but it's yet comfortable and it kind of feels sporty at the same time. Like they're firm enough that like this thing kind of holds you in place, but like having the Rivian in there and like the head dress this looks so nice and if you scroll up you can see the sunroof that's in there it looks really really big it's nice though it keeps it dark even the back seat is very very roomy for a pickup truck especially this size pickup truck and then right here in the center part is a digital display you can see the rear display is locked right there but you can control your settings for the uh, climate but you can also control the seat heaters on there and there are USB C's as well but I just love the attention to detail. The fact that they have the colored buckles on there, you can see the edges of the headrest, the back of it right here has a clip. Just everything just looks super, super nice. Rivian really, really outdid themselves. Now sitting inside the driver's seat, it's very, very comfortable. I really like how they have the setup right here with the two screens. It's very clean looking. The user interface was like my biggest concern and so far so good. It looks awesome. So my cousin, who's a big Tesla guy, he ended up doing a quick little drive with me on this one just to check it out. He actually drove it and he loved all these buttons. He said that these things are really, really nice. So now what's cool about it too is you can go over here, you can adjust the ride. You can go from soft suspension, which is very, very soft and comfortable to stiff suspension, which is nikes you can go to the brake regen you can do it on high you can do stability on and then also over here the ride height is so cool so you can see all the way over here it says low that's where the suspension is right now now to put it onto the highest setting you have to press off-road click going off-road and then you can put it all the way to the highest if you want to so now getting out of the truck is definitely a bit harder for me it feels like a bit of a fruit free fall like coming down which is kind of sketchy but look how high the suspension is check out the front right there look at how it, the difference right here you could fit a full hand inside here and that thing was hugging on it before so we're gonna put it all the way to the lowest and we'll show you guys the difference so this is the lowest setting like you could barely even see the tire tread it's so far down there and it's so seamless when it happens. It's so quick. The air suspension is so nice. So this is going to be my first time driving the Rivian. I haven't experienced it myself. My cousin was in the driver's seat just before when we first got it and he wanted to see what it was like because my cousin was the one that told me to get this truck or pre-order it three years ago. So he was so excited that this thing was coming in. But one thing that we noticed straight away was the regenerative braking. Like you barely have to hit the brakes. Like you could just use a regenerative braking and you'd be completely fine. So right now we have it in soft, but we're going to put it into stiff because if I'm going to check this thing out, we are definitely going to have to hit it and see how it feels. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> dude, are you kidding me? Matt, what do you think, honestly? My head hurts. What's your review right there, just from the first little pull? Dude, I'm obsessed with the truck. You love it, huh? I'm literally obsessed with uh, it. It feels really nice. Even the seats are comfortable. The seats are really good. Yeah, it just really feels nice. Feels like just, a sports car and a truck at the same time, yeah. right? It just feels high quality, man. That's that's all I can say. It's just high quality. I think Rivian really, really hit a home run making this truck like as best as they possibly can. Like they they weren't messing around at all with this. I can't compare it to any other truck. Like there's nothing that I've driven that feels like it. I mean, 
quality wise of like interior like my limited ram that i had the interior was really nice but this one like it's just it's really nice but it's also simplistic as well the ram there was just stuff going on all over the place like it was mayhem but this thing is yeah, just so that. cool the screen up front yeah, the is so good looking it's really really nice and i also love the uh details that are on it like i ended up going with the black interior this, i think it's called the black mountain interior this is like <laughs> yeah it feels like real wood it kind of does yeah doesn't it? it's like actually textured which is amazing yeah it just looks really nice it's a really clean setup i wanted to get the blue with the black wheels and i wanted to make sure i had the black interior as well just because like if i get anything else like if i got any kind of brown or anything like that it would drive me crazy i, I wouldn't be able to deal with it just the way i am i guess and if we go and press the suspension and we put it to soft it's a world of a difference. It's super stiff when you have the stiff suspension on, but once you put it to the air, like it's so nice and so smooth. It just feels like you're just rolling just nice and seamlessly. And the truck makes a really nice noise. Like it's an electric noise, but it's not annoying. It's not like over the top. It's just right to be honest. So all in all, this Rivian R1T is better than I expected. It's been three years since I've been waiting for this to come out. And since then, I've had a couple different Teslas. And I am a huge Tesla fan, big time. And this thing is definitely different. I would even go to argue that this thing is a better package than a Tesla when it comes to the quality of the interior. The way that everything is just feels just a little bit more high class instead of like being like very simplistic the way Tesla is. Don't get me wrong, I love Teslas. I think Teslas are the best car by far. But this thing, I have a whole different way of thinking now. Like the convenience of this, having a pickup truck, like you could load whatever you need to in here and drive it around like it's 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 fast and it looks good but to be completely honest with you in those three years of waiting for this truck to come out like i've been going back and forth of like what i've been trying to do i had my ram 1500 pickup truck for a while but i got rid of that last november and since then i realized that i really don't need a pickup truck right now like everything that i've been doing with my prius has been perfectly fine especially having my parents and my dad having his truck so i don't need a pickup truck right now and that kind of leads me to where i'm going with this video I've been seeing these things going up and they're selling for a good amount of money and I'm sitting there doing the math and I really don't need this truck and I could potentially make money off of this thing so I'm going to list this thing up for sale. So you guys that are watching this video, somebody that wants to get a Rivian that doesn't want to wait for however long it's going to take for theirs to come out or put the order in. like. My truck is going to be available right now and I'm not putting any more miles on it. I'm just driving it and parking it in my garage. There's going to be about 30 miles on it when all said and done by the time I get back to my house and I get delivered with 17. So I'm not doing anything to this thing. I'm not even going to drive it at all. So if you guys want, you can go bid on this truck right now on Cars and Bids and this thing is going to be ready to be sold to you guys immediately. I hope that one of you guys can get a chance to enjoy this truck because it really is an amazing truck. So hats off to Rivian for going above and beyond, not only to make this pickup truck, but also make an amazing buying experience. Everyone out there that has a Rivian on order, I hope you guys are excited to get your hands on an amazing truck. And anybody out there that's bidding on this truck, best of luck. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So we'll see you next time, guys. Peace.